America has never dealt with its original sin of colonial genocide, structural settler racism. Instead, it has moved to placate, to pacify, and co-op new African slash black folks into its own structural system of oppression and neocolonialism. New African people represent an oppressed nation, an exploited nation, where the means of production and ability to produce and sustain itself, the ability to meet the needs of its people and community, has been seized by a foreign entity. This genocidal, this genocidal seizure was to be in the interest of creating, creating the American settler state that later on, on the surface, has created this false impression of a multicultural democracy. You don't get to impose a constitution upon a conquered people. You do not get to amend the people into a constitution that you once deemed as three-fifths human. You do not get to impose a second-class citizenship upon a people and call it freedom, as if all has been forgiven. Freedom of freedom for New African people represents independence, land, autonomy, and the ability to be self-determining and creating its own destiny and national identity. It means being able to dictate and sustain the quality of life for our people. It means being able to not only govern ourselves, but create institutions that meet the needs of our people, our children, have a direct impact upon our material world slash existence and the quality of our lives. It means being able to reverse some of the negative social ills impacting our community in the areas of health care, economical empowerment, economical independence, where we are no longer contributing trillions of dollars into an economy that's controlled by a government that has proven not to function in our collective best interest. A government where we see very little of those trillions reinvested back into our community or our people, especially our children or youth. It means being able to put, to put a stop to a lot of the reactionary and homicidal violence that exists in our community. It means being able to stop and reverse the chemical and biological warfare being visited upon our communities. It means ending and reversing the mass incarceration and current practices of harvesting and ethnic cleansing of black and brown bodies out of our communities and processing them into the prison industrial complex. We are not separatists. We are revolutionary nationalists, which is different and distinct from black nationalists or reactionary nationalism. As an enslaved people once deemed chattel slaves by the U.S. government as a conquered and neo-colonized people based on international law, we were never allowed to declare ourselves free and independent. We have never been allowed through a legal entity or democratic process to declare our nationality and national identity and have it recognized and binding on this government, nor have we been afforded reparations to make up for and atone for the 400 plus years of bondage, servitude, exploitation, and genocide perpetrated against New African people by this neo-fascist and neo-colonial government. Therefore, we continue to wage the struggle of war and resistance for land. Independence and socialism first begun by our ancestors when the first settlers stepped off the boats and arrived on the shores of Africa. We salute, champion, and continue that tradition from one generation to the next. As I told into the corporate control media, and I see all of these young people and others who have certainly discovered that genocide not only exists, but is being perpetrated against the Palestinian people by Israel, I can't help but ask, do you not see the genocide as being and is being carried out against New African slash black folks in modern day Babylon? Genocide that is being carried out on the shores of the North American continent. We are pro Palestine liberation as we are pro Haitian, pro Darfur, and pro Sudan liberation. But we are also pro New African liberation. We do not have to look outside of the U.S. borders to denounce genocide. You have wars and struggles of national liberation right here on this North American continent. The thousands upon thousands of native and indigenous people being wiped off this earth. The women being disappeared and slaughtered from their communities that no one wants to acknowledge or talk about, for example. The tens of thousands of black and brown bodies being fed into the prison industrial complex that prevent our ability to reproduce and serve our people in our and or communities. Revolution starts at home. We challenge you to broaden the struggle. Free all political prisoners, free the land. Shaka Shakur, you can reach me at shakashakur.org. Peace.